Hi, I'm Jim Murphy with River City Software Development, and we provide quality solutions to companies like yours who use Iron Speed Designer. Today we're going to be talking about master pages, specifically the application generation options for master pages. This is an advanced property which usually won't need to be changed. However, if you do change it, you'll need to make a few modifications in several code pages. So first let's take a look at those generation options. You can go to the Tools menu and the Application Generation options. And if you go into the New Page Options, you'll notice there's a Master Pages section. And the section is called Content Placeholder ID. And it's currently set to Page Content. We're going to change that to RCSD Page Content. And if you notice this message here, it says the Content Placeholder ID, which we just changed to RCSD Page Content, must match the value in our master page. Also, we need to modify a file named applicationwebform.js as well. We'll do that last. We'll save the changes. Next, let's go to the master page itself. We'll make a copy of this master page and name it RCSD Horizontal Menu.master. Then change the content placeholders ID from page content to RCSD page content. We'll also set this master page as the default master page. Now we have a new master page with a content placeholder changed. Let's go add a new page by going to Tools, Application Wizard. Select a Show Table page for the Categories table. Notice the screen focuses in the Search for text box. When we navigate to the new page, notice that the search box is not focused. This is because we have not yet changed the application webform.js file. Notice that we are looking at the Demo1 folder where the web project is located. Our application webform.js file is located right here. We can open it up in Visual Studio. This file contains a lot of JavaScript code to help with miscellaneous UI stuff. As it relates to master pages, there is a piece of code in this file that controls focusing the cursor on the initial content field, like the search text box, not a field in the header, footer, or elsewhere on the page. We have to look for the page content, the old content placeholder ID. It says here that if we change the content placeholder in the master page, then we have to add this code which IronSpeed already wrote for us. We can paste it right here. Change this to RCSD page content. And save it. Let's see the results. When we navigate to our Categories page, which uses the new master, it still doesn't focus properly, only because the original application webform.js file is in the browser cache. Hitting F5 will clear the cache and reload the file. You can see that worked. I hope you've enjoyed the session. You can visit us on the web at www.rcsdev.com if you'd like help with your project.